Well, there's Cindy from Albany, New York, and I finished another prayer journal. And um, everybody asks me where my images come from. My images come from Pinterest, and I edit them using a software called Pizap, P I Z A P dot com. And um, my stamps, many of them were gifted to me, others I get off of eBay or at garage sales. Um, and my journals lately are paper bag journals. They're just quick and easy to make and um, the pages themselves are paper bags that I get from the grocery store that I cut down to size and I staple them in. I know some people don't like staples. They put lace or whatever on the edge. I don't have a problem with it, but um, anyway. This is my uh, quick tutorial. I don't have a whole lot of time. I usually go in and give numbers of where stuff is and whatnot. If you watch some of my other videos, there's probably more information. But um, my closure is just a uh, ribbon that's taped. I don't usually put stuff on the back, but I do glue the ribbon so that it is firm. Um, this is a coffee dyed copy of... Uh, Bible. I don't use actual Bible pages. I use copies of Bible pages. Um, I had a lady chew me out because tell me to respect the word. I wasn't respecting the word. I have great respect for the word and my prayer journals or devotional journals are filled with the word. So anyway, here is a postcard with the word. <laughs> Psalm 116, 1 and 2. And again, the image is from Pinterest, and I edit it using PZAP, adding the scripture. And this is a tag. Um, this prayer journal belongs to was a stamp that was gifted to me by Hermie Linda. Um, if you watch one of my other videos, there's information on how to order one. And this is just angel stamps on the back. This is me. Um, I got this off of eBay. If you send your picture in, you could order a stamp, and they made a rubber stamp for me. This handmade with the bounty of prayers was a stamp that was a gift from Lilibet. And this tag makes it to most of my journals. Okay. This image here is from Pinterest. And this is a dollar store receipt that I just stamped. Both of these stamps are from eBay. And it's a lady stamp and it says, Above all else, guard your heart for it is the wellspring of life. Proverbs 4.23 And what I do is I layer on top of... This is, um, this is a paper bag and I just layer. This is a coffee dyed sheet music and an image from Pinterest and this is a card on the back it says I pray not wish because I have a God not a genie and when I was learning to make junk journals the person that was given the tutorial said if you make a pocket put something in it if you punch a hole put a ribbon through it and I try to do that with all of my journals. This journal here has a lot of um, copies from the devotional Jesus Calling. So um, that's in there like that. This is a tag that I made. And again, these images, Pinterest tag that I made. Our help is in the name of the Lord. And there's an, another page from the devotional Jesus Calling. This um, I can get four pages out of a paper bag, and then, of course, there's some um, scraps. And so this is the Martha Stewart Punch. This is a stamp I got from Hobby Lobby, and I just made a pocket. And in this pocket, there's several things. There's a little card. I'm not a journaler, but I know many people who get my journal journals are. And so on the back, there's space for journaling. Um, a copy from the Jesus Calling devotional. This here is a zine that I made, and inside is um, Joel Olstein's I Declare. Um, 
statements and there's 31 of them one for each day and there's some scriptures about favor and so that's just a whole bunch of stuff in this little pocket oh and behind here there's also another copy um, of devotional and like I said if there's a pocket I do try to put something in it and if there's a hole I try to put a ribbon through it. Um, this image is from Pinterest and um, this is another receipt that is stamped. This um, little girl stamp was a gift from Rachel Odom and she makes it into a lot of my journals. And the Delight Yourself stamp is from eBay. And so that's a nice little thing. I had gotten from the free box at work a um, devotional and there were some letters from God and these letters are perfect for my uh, journal. Pursue peace. I'll bless you when you are a peacemaker. Come to me in prayer with your worries and you'll experience my peace that surpasses all understanding. Loving you always, your Prince of Peace. And then it's got the scriptures there. And um, there's, I think, seven or eight of them that I've shrunk down because they're just perfect for the kind of journals that I make. And this is from Pinterest. And this is just another one of those um, letters that were in that book. And this Count Your Blessings, I believe, was a stamp, a gift from Rachel Odom and another pocket made with the Martha Stewart punch. And that's a copy of the Jesus Calling devotional, a page of that. This is um, Psalm 63. And this is a postcard just held together with a uh, colored paper clip and a ribbon. And it's Psalm 116, 1 and 2. And another copy of the devotional. And let's see here. On this one, I have the opening on the side instead of the top. And there's another little card in here. And this card on the back um, says... God's plans will always be greater and more beautiful than all your disappointments. And so that card goes in here like that. And we have another receipt. And this receipt here um, um, says expect miracles. And this stamp here was from eBay, the Expect Miracles I got at the thrift store at work, believe it or not. Okay, and this stamp I've had for years. Um, I got it a long time ago. Can't remember exactly where I got it. And Isaiah 26.3. And this is just a piece of scrapbook paper. And behind here... I believe is um, a poem. Yeah, it's a poem. Set me a fire. I get, um, I send a check sometimes to the Salison Mission, and they send me um, Christian poem books that I absolutely love. And this is a picture again from Pinterest, and another um, another poem behind there. And a Pinterest interest image, and this is one of those letters from that book that I was talking about. And behind here, there's also a poem, too, in the second pocket. And this is a girl, and here it says, He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increaseth their strength. And this is another one of those letters. You can always count on me. I promise that I'll never leave you nor let you down. I'm 100% faithful to all my promises to you. No matter what you're going through, I'm always there when you need help. 
You'll always find refuge in me, faithfully, your ever-present God. And it's got the scripture references there. And then behind here, there's some more poems. I love this image from Pinterest. And this is another tag. And this one says, the Lord is merciful and gracious. And there's behind here, another one of those letters. And this is an image from Pinterest. Another one of those letters. Another pocket. And this stamp I got from Hobby Lobby. And uphold me according to thy word that I might live. That's what that says. And behind this pocket back here, there's a postcard. Some... 144, 15, happy is the people whose God is the Lord. And this piece of scrapbook paper was a gift from Anita. Thank you, Anita. And we're almost to the end here. Take your burden to the Lord. This image is from Pinterest. There's a poem here. And in here, faith little mason jar that I got. I got that stamp at a garage sale and these mason jars had been making their way into my little prayer journals. And this is a little um, book, prayer request to record the date and how God answered and the date. And that little booklet makes it into a lot of my journals too. So that's my latest prayer journal. Um, thank you for watching, uh, and God bless.